KG5 EIU. I'm going to show you how to set up the new ICOM 705 with WinLink, uh, VHF WinLink, in fact. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is get on out to ICOM Japan site. You'll need the USB driver for the 705. I've uh, I've already loaded that in here and it's working great. You'll end up with two COM ports here, COM3 and COM4. COM3 is the CIV port, control port. You'll need that. The next thing you're going to want to do is go out to uh, UZ7HO's website and grab the sound modem, the software TNC. And there's another set of files you're going to need, which is this PTT DLL zip file. That contains two files, uh, PTT.DLL and a CAT.DLL. And we'll use those uh, inside of WinLink. What I've done is I've downloaded uh, Sound Modem and I've created a folder in my Documents folder called Sound Modem. And I've put all of that in here. The sound modem exe, the cat dll, and the ptt dll, those all come from uh, this file here. Just put them all in there together. The ini files are created when you first launch and you set up sound modem for the first time. So I have it all set up and running here. I'll go ahead and launch WinLink Express and <clears throat> We'll open a session with Packet WinLink to get things rolling. And like I said, I have everything pre-configured here, but I'm going to go through the settings with you, uh, starting with sound modem. First thing under sound modems will be your devices. You'll want to set your audio devices for your 705. Uh, I've check mark these two here and you'll want to set up the KISS server port for 8100 enable that turn off the A AGWPE port and you'll want to set up the CAT uh, from the drop down list here you'll, all the way down here at the bottom set up for CAT and when you have the DLLs in the same file you'll get the advanced menu here and what I've done since there's no 705 in the DLL file yet because it's so new I've using the, I'm using the 7300 and COM3 is the CIV port I've running my COM port at 19.2 8 data bits, no parity, one stop bit and left all these uh, other things on so that's set up there uh, our modem set up uh, now we've got the, the modem set up and going uh, you want to go back and look at your uh, uh, modem settings for the actual TNC settings inside of sound modem. And these are pretty much the default. I don't think I've ever changed anything in here. I don't remember anyway, but here's how I have all mine set uh, with all the check marks. This works great. And <clears throat> over here in the packet winlink session, uh, that was launched when I got it in here you'll want to uh, go to settings in here and there's a couple settings in here you want to look at you want to switch to KISS uh, put it in ACK mode you're gonna select uh, TCP for your serial port you're gonna want to open up uh, 127.0.0.1 and that's 8100 and then you'll want to uh, mouse around to your documents directory browse to it and that's where the executable is for sound modem and that's pretty much it and once you get all that set up uh, what I did is I shut everything down and relaunched WinLink to get things going and uh, came right up and I was able to connect so let's see how we do here with uh, K5 PRK station here it's pretty local we'll give it a go and you can see we're connecting up
And there's our transfer. Uh, looks like no mail for me. But basically that's it for uh, VHF and sound modem. It's um, kind of just that easy to get things going. Hope that was helpful. 7-3 from KG5 EIU.